women are half the population, right? So, so there's, it's a total lie that there's a pipeline issue here when it comes to female founders. There's incredible female founders. This whole room was full of them today, and this is just one event. This is a rich community of other ambitious entrepreneurs, founders, investors, uh, who want to see these ratios get to 50-50. That's where they belong, right? And, and I would say this room is full of people who are on different stages of their journey when it comes to building their businesses, backing businesses, and the more we can open up our own you know, black books to each other, our contacts, our networks, our resources, our support, our advice, uh, the more we can elevate each other on this journey and really change the representation. This event has been brilliant. It's nice, I think, to bring people back together, like in real life, to have those kind of one-to-one -one conversations with people, and also just to hear from the panelists. I think they were really open and honest with their fundraising journey, uh, both as women of color, and also one as a solo founder as well, which is a very similar experience to mine. So I think hearing other people's experiences, and then also, yeah, just being able to network and speak to people afterwards has been, yeah, invaluable, really. I guess my main tip to female founders would be to focus on your product and also your customers. Um, the fundraising will be much easier after that. I think for anybody who's looking to start a business, I would say definitely do your homework around what is the problem you're trying to solve and how can you find uh, some people who can give you honest feedback uh, and advice on whether or not the solution that you're coming up with actually uh, addresses that problem. And more importantly, is that problem something that's really pressing?